learning how to love and do it is my highest purpose in life. So it's nice to to connect people with the person who uh, who was the first person who who showed tantra for me, and it's the the root, the root uh, from where everything started in, in my life with tantra. Uh, hello, Isis. <laughs> yeah. So today uh, we will speak about some nice things about Tantra and uh, I know that uh, Michal is um, very, uh, very active in this topic uh, with the different types, different uh, levels of loving because last time we talked that uh, there is, uh, Tantra is the thing, the, the tool, how to make the love better how to love better and uh, what is that love there are a lot of levels of love and uh, th there are a lot of uh, s different think thinking about uh, what is love it's only sexual love it's uh, relationships it's um, i don't know uh, maybe um, to it's love for in um, from the distance, how it works, <laughs> or it's love uh, when you're always together. So I know that you are very active in this topic and it's very on top for you now. So maybe you can share about those different levels of loving. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for the introduction. Uh, yes, uh, through my experience um, uh, of my life, uh, I noticed that um, the love, what I loved, uh, um, 15, 20 years ago uh, was different uh, love than I love now and uh, uh, to Tantra I developed my love uh, a lot and uh, uh, it's not that uh, I didn't love um, 20 years ago uh, I just loved uh, on a different level uh, a bit um, with a lot of attachments, uh, jealousy um, doing things, uh, sometimes hurting each other, but still it was love. We were quarreling every day, but it was love. Uh, so yes, uh, Tantra is uh, for me the path uh, how to love better and uh, thankful uh, that uh, I uh, develop uh, my loving capacity uh, Thankful that that uh, actually I start to loving myself, uh, but, um, with uh, tantric practice, with uh, um, use it don't lose it, what we discussed last time, uh, with sublimation of the energy, sexual energy, I could uh, nourish my heart so much that uh, I love myself so much that uh, um, I have so much abundance of love that uh, I want to share that love. Uh, with another person, so I formed the relationship out of abundance, not out of need, that uh, I need to love someone or I need to, uh, I need to be loved. Uh, so, so this is a completely different level and that is guiding us into this beautiful direction of uh, more and more unconditional love. Uh, but, um, yes, we love uh, because we love and uh, yes, uh, not because we want to get something out of it. Yeah, it's a yeah. very important topic. Uh, when you love uh, with the... Uh, when you love unconditionally, it's much more love inside of you. And um, mm -hmm. it's not a lack of love then, I feel. But it's uh, it's not like I'm I have a lack of love and uh, I need something. No, it's... Uh, I love you as you are, and uh, I don't need nothing from you. Yes, this is unconditional love, or or how you understand what is unconditional love. I like uh, uh, the tantric namaste, uh, what I invented uh, last time. 
I love myself uh, as uh, I love you, or I love you as uh, I love myself. Right? So uh, um, I feel this is, uh, if it's like more as more pure it is, uh, then uh, that's it. Like uh, um, feeling one and from this oneness uh, loving someone, uh, sharing that love. Uh, that's. Um, like unconditional love, feeling uh, loving someone as you love yourself and uh, being loved as uh, you would love yourself. That's that's more unconditional love. And of course, I would say unconditional love. It's uh, uh, some ideal. Uh, we uh, may not never be there uh, uh, because there would be some days uh, where we are more insecure and we would not love ourselves so much. There would be some days when our partners also uh, um, is uh, maybe a bit annoying us more than in different days. Uh, so our uh, love, uh, uh, um, I wish it would be, but it would never be this 100% uh, uh, unconditional love uh, to me, to the partner, to whoever. But uh, as close we are uh, to this ideal, then uh, yes, uh, we are more happy, we are uh, more loving, uh, and that's uh, the direction to go. Like, uh, like as Buddha said, like uh, there is no way to happiness. Uh, happiness is the way. I transform this uh, saying to many other things. Uh, there is no way to unconditional love. Unconditional love is the way. Right? You <coughs> have the best way possible at that moment for you. And yes, uh, if you have consciousness that yes, this is still not the love what uh, because uh, you can always love better, then uh, yes, I choose the tantric path to learn how to love better and do it because uh, as I can love myself better, then I'm more happy in life. Whatever I, I would have or not to have, I would love myself better. And in that way also I can love better and another person. And like it's circling, like as much I can love another person, I can love myself better and the other way around. Uh, as I can love uh, other person better, I can love myself also better. You mentioned one really important thing which is a big topic uh, even uh, especially for now in what is happening in the world there is a really really important topic uh, you mentioned that uh, I love you like I love myself so if I don't love myself I don't know how to love other people then so what is uh, what what you would like to say for those people who feel that uh, I don't know if I love myself or I don't know if I love myself in a good way or is it self-love or no what you know people are asking themselves a lot of questions am I doing good or or bad <laughs> you know so from where it starts when you feel that you really love yourself and how to start uh, that? Yes, these questions, uh, uh, yes, it's a, a bit uh, yeah, complex uh, topic uh, because uh, we are conditioned uh, from one side to like, uh, yes, uh, be just you, yourself, you have to, uh, uh, eventually you, your family, and that's it, you know, like, uh, your lover and that's it, you know, like, uh, but uh, from the other side, we also like uh, conditioned, uh, uh, that yes, uh, uh, loving ourselves, it's like mm, maybe selfish and so, and I would like to clarify uh, uh, my uh, vision on this is uh, that, uh, um, um, yes, loving yourself, uh, it's uh, very healthy, and uh, you can check yourself uh, on it, like, uh, uh, is it narcissism or selfishness? Uh, uh, you can uh, ask yourself question, is the love uh, to myself uh, uh, serving the others? Like, uh, I don't know, for example, 
if I uh, love myself uh, by um, I don't know uh, eating uh, some very nice food uh, and then I'm uh, um, healthy uh, and also I'm uh, I have good mood like I enjoy the food so much so I have uh, good mood uh, uh, um, I have good experience so I, 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 I have a nice energy to uh, I don't know, work with the people or meet with someone, then uh, I can see, okay, that was uh, maybe for me, uh, but it served the others because uh, uh, it gave me nice energy that I could give to others. And uh, yes, uh, always check yourself, uh, but is it uh, things doing for myself doesn't hurt someone because if it hurts someone it's not aligned with the universe and that's you know like uh, yes this lo uh, like uh, kind of love to yourself it's uh, just illusion because you cannot love yourself by hurting others uh, uh, you can have some switch in your mind that it is but uh, it's just excuse uh, to uh, stay in that uh, illusion uh, so uh, yes, pure love to yourself, it's uh, always aligned with loving the others, I would say. That's, that's the love. And another is kind of like, yes, uh, maybe egoism and so on, like, uh, um, yeah. So yes, uh, you have to also always check uh, about hmm. that. I, would say. I remember that uh, my, uh, I. I felt that I always loved myself because my mother told every time that everything is good with you, what you're doing, and, and everything was quite nice in my childhood. But uh, in, in, at, at one moment I realized that I am different uh, be, comparing with others. And, uh, and uh, that was because I, uh, I was living without father, I was uh, I, I had some traumas and every every people had that and uh, there are no 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 person who has no traumas and who has no nothing to release because it's life and uh, I remember then uh, my first releasing when I released and I liberate myself from from something which what was not serving in my life for me to love myself and to love others then I, that was the moment when, uh, when I realized, okay, this is the love. This is the love. When I, when I feel uh, with myself in every moment, okay and good. And, uh, and sometimes it's hard to catch those things which are not uh, serving for you. And, uh, I know that a lot of uh, I, I know that me I know that I know that you I know that all the people who are watching here and will watch me later uh, we have some traumas and it's normal and uh, and uh, we have if we want to 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 love ourselves better we have to work on that and um, I know that it's uh, very uh, nice to feel that you are not alone and uh, when you are starting your spiritual path uh, you feel sometimes a little bit outsider where i can connect with with whom you know so these kind of lives maybe can be also these kind of connections and maybe you can share uh, your um, one of the first release or 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 li when you liberated yourself Maybe some experience. Maybe there. What, what kind of tantric, um, tantric meditations or practices, experiences you had that was the most strong, and uh, you remember that that it was the moment when you released. Maybe you can share some feelings or visuals or what, how you experienced that. One of the first uh, release uh, what I uh, experienced was. Uh, getting free from uh, sexual addiction uh, that was uh, yes for me like uh, wow uh, and uh, um, I did it uh, through uh, practicing the tantric love making uh, getting introduced to this 
and yes, uh, starting to uh, avoid uh, the ejaculation and learning how to do it and practicing it. Uh, that was for me like, uh, wow. Uh, I, I, I felt like, wow, I didn't knew nothing about sexuality before that uh, and uh, nothing about love, about uh, uh, energy uh, and this all like introduced me to this. Uh, so uh, this method, use it, don't lose it, what uh, uh, we shared uh, last time, uh, definitely this is the method what it changed my life like big time like uh, it's still changing like, because I'm using it all the time but uh, yeah that's the, the main uh, thing like what I would recommend like and uh, what really make huge impact on me um, so yes uh, that's mm -hmm. And yeah, um, but this is like uh, this is the m biggest step, the the huge, uh, the m uh, the all other ones uh, were uh, very little compared. Uh, so uh, yes, I could say like um, tantra is also a path to heal yourself, heal your past. Uh, wounds and uh, um, yes, things what happened to you uh, and uh, yes, uh, through tantra, to tra through tantric massage, you guide yourself uh, into healing this. Uh, so it is important to uh, let your emotions out. Uh, uh, to find these emotions when they are stored uh, in your body and uh, finding them out and going through them again, going sometimes through the same past memories what uh, are holding us back uh, towards maybe loving uh, the woman, uh, loving the man, uh, um, having um, healthy approach to sexuality, to uh, love, I think. Uh, so, so it's a, um, when we release these emotions, what uh, cause these blockages, then uh, yes, it's another major step uh, in our life to uh, be more loving, be more free. Tantra healing is about like finding where uh, these emotions are stored in your body and uh, um, for example, like the most uh, emotions, because mo women are more traumatized and they are traumatized mainly around their sexuality. And most of these emotions are stored in uh, their yonis, uh, how we call uh, uh, vaginas uh, in Tantra. Um, so uh, by finding the uh, spots what uh, have physical pain and uh, uh, that can uh, trigger the release of the emotions. Uh, we allow the woman to release this emotion, what is frozen uh, in her body, in her yoni, uh, and through the release of these emotions, she can uh, um, release the uh, emotion what uh, is uh, she is carrying since uh, this bad thing happened to her, whatever it was. Maybe it's broken heart relationship or. or maybe some abuse, maybe uh, some shameful uh, accident when she was child or whatever. Uh, anything what holding her back, she can uh, go through it again and uh, release this emotion. And then she is free from uh, this uh, uh, blockage and she has more healthy approach. So these are also kind of major steps what uh, people uh, experience through Tantra. It's easy, what I wanted to say, that it's easy when you are in a couple and uh, you decide both that, okay, let's let's work on that, let's go this path. And uh, there are um, two questions for you. <laughs> like, there are some um, couples that, for example, 
Uh, the, the, the most common example is that uh, women wants, uh, woman wants to go there and go deeper and uh, experience Tantra and a man is like, oh, this is something not for me and I don't know. So maybe you have some suggestions how, um, you know, for those couples who are living a lot and uh, it's already with the children's maybe and uh, they have no passion for each other and uh, and uh, how to how to uh, is is it that that when you start uh, to live in tantric way you have th this passion or you can um, work on this passion only when you have it in the start of relationships and um, maybe uh, you have some experience in your teachings uh, with the couples who were already not uh, not very connected, but they came and something happened. Maybe some angels and some goddesses. I know that we don't uh, uh, mention the, the who they are and uh, and etc. But goddess and and the angel. I use this also in my teachings. Goddess and angel. So. Maybe you want to share some positive experiences with the couples who were already not not very in a good relationships. Uh, yes, it's kind of uh, uh, a bit common that uh, uh, couples who are like uh, on the edge of breakup, uh, they like tried many things and they already like okay this is kind of the last thing we try you know like and then they coming and they, they, they oh, like uh, get uh, their reality shaken and then uh, yes they uh, uh, work through it uh, and uh, they uh, they ignite the fire back that's what Tantra does you know like they uh, like basically Tantra uh, it's uh, teaching us to stay in the honeymoon for uh, all the life, to keep the honeymoon. Uh, it's uh, giving us the methods where we will stay passionate and, uh, uh, yes, connecting more and, uh, um, like, learning uh, together uh, these higher uh, ways of love uh, loving better and better and better so so when you learn when you dedicate yourself to loving better and better and better then you know like this passion is every time you make new step it's like uh, uh, even you are in with the same person but you just passionate uh, uh, discovering uh, like new relationship like because it's you have new tools new uh, perspective new, some blockage get uh, removed so you can come closer and have completely new experience uh, so uh, yes uh, tantra is a tool to uh, connect people uh, um, further and to uh, find and i have uh, couples like i uh, you know like I uh, I got uh, like I remember um, uh, some time ago uh, this kind of couple came like they said we don't know we think about breaking but uh, yes help us you know and uh, yes uh, we had like uh, one long retreat uh, with me and. Uh, I gave them uh, some uh, individual talk with uh, both of them and together and yes they were loving themselves but they were like in the moment that ah you know they cannot stand each other it's a blind road they tried everything and nothing works and so and now they are still together they are like uh, discovering uh, the new ways of uh, uh, Orgasm, new ways of uh, loving each other, and they very ec excited about that. They very happy. They uh, they say they never were ha so happy like they are happy now. Even in the so-called honeymoon, they they were they were not so connected like they are connected. You know, also like 
you know, when two people love each other and uh, they very often um, uh, reach these moments where uh, they uh, like re their relationship uh, have potential to heal uh, each other, but because they don't have tools and they don't have understanding what is happening in their process and so uh, they uh, they don't have some uh, outside support who would tell them, hey guys, actually look, uh, this what is happening is not so bad. It's uh, realize this and this, you can grow through it if you know. So uh, yes, and then they can uh, really uh, grow if they have this support. So so. Yeah. yeah, so the second question in this topic uh, is about, um, yes, it's okay when you are in a couple, you can try to experience something, can go deeper and release something and go in a higher levels of love, but uh, yeah, a lot of people are alone and I always say for those people that uh, to be alone and uh, to feel uh, lonely, it's two different things. And uh, yes, the the thing is just uh, how to um, how to. I know that there are some uh, tantric uh, self-love rituals, and uh, uh, I did some of workshops here in Lithuania, and I was at your workshop in in in, in this topic, and um, I know that it's easy when you show and when you you know, uh, show the breathing techniques and everything, but uh, if uh, there are some people who are alone and uh, they want to mm -hmm. not to feel lonely and to experience tantric love and uh, tantric um, ritual uh, when they are alone, uh, could you describe in words uh, some exercise how to do like what are the differences actually with between masturbation and uh, self-love ritual and how to control that i know that we talked about diagrams already last time but um, uh, it's kind of uh, the same question but in different way like uh, okay i know the diagram but uh, i was asking myself okay i'm doing it uh, good or wrong uh how to do that you know how to love myself it's uh, touch myself or uh, am i doing everything okay and how i breathe and when <laughs> you know so uh, at the very beginning there are these questions maybe you can share uh, with people what is self-love ritual and uh, how to uh, how to go uh, to to the higher level of uh, let's say masturbation but it's not so uh, how to transform it into tantric ritual okay before uh, i was in tantra i was masturbating to lose the energy uh, after tantra i self uh, love myself to gain the energy uh, in like physically you could see maybe i'm doing the same thing but inside what i'm doing inside uh, so, uh, uh, as we discussed that in the long way uh, last time, before the point of no return, uh, the moment when I would uh, have a peak orgasm, uh, so the woman would have clitoral orgasm, or, and the man will have ejaculatory orgasm, and they will lose the, their energy. So, before it, it, it will happen, you bring this energy up uh, instead of losing it. So a short reminder with the uh, like uh, tightening your PC muscle with the breathing and uh, imagine uh, that energy goes from your genitals to your heart and with the breath out releasing the PC muscle, the, uh, uh, imagine that the energy goes back to the genitals. You do a few of those circles till you feel that you are far away from the point of no return and then uh, you may continue with uh, self-pleasuring uh, and uh, every time when you feel you're coming close to the point of no return, you do this uh, few circles again. Uh, better too early than too late because if it's too late, it's game over and uh, yes, you uh, go to sleep, uh, you lose the energy, so yes. So, so 
Um, yes. Um, so so doing this, uh, like uh, also uh, um, when you self love uh, yourself, you can spread this energy by massaging uh, all your body, not be just concentrated on the genitals, but spread this energy uh, also before you can. St- the, your body is prepared that the energy flows not only is, is stagnated so it makes it easier that uh, um, it's uh, not accumulating there so quickly also with your slow breath uh, the same uh, you uh, keep uh, uh, the energy spread so when you breathe slowly it also helps you to bring the ecstasy to other parts of your body so yes that's short uh, things and yes being single it doesn't mean uh, that you have less capacity to tantra um, most of the uh, uh, courses uh, uh, retreats uh, are uh, completely accepting uh, the single people uh, just when you are single um, book as soon as possible because uh, then uh, you have bigger chance that the, the organizers will find for you the balance partner if uh, that's needed. Uh, some of the classes are uh, not needed with the balance, but uh, like for example, massage uh, classes uh, are always uh, good that there is balance. So yeah, um, but yes, you can really uh, also. Uh, master uh, this uh, use it don't lose it method the method what we uh, talked in the previous uh, interview so you can look at tantra path uh, uh, on the previous one and you can uh, there is explain this use it don't lose it method and it's very good to master it when you are exactly single because uh, the disadvantage to master it when you are uh, uh, with someone it's uh, like um, you could get very uh, easily uh, excited uh, by uh, one oh ah too much from your beloved ones uh, uh, so uh, that can push you out of the edge uh, uh, if you are not master it uh, and if it happened uh, too often at the beginning that may demotivate you uh, and uh, when you are with yourself you can uh, master it uh, by just observing your own energy you are not so um, like easily uh, like suddenly excited by uh, some move or some scratch of your uh, beloved one Uh, so you can uh, master it by yourself actually for me being a single for a while it helped me a lot uh, to uh, master it very good uh, I agree with you and uh, also um, okay so it it comes uh, uh, one more topic about this continue to, to continue this uh, in in one more topic to add uh, about when you are uh, there are some people uh, for example all, also me uh, when I, when I want to go to some workshop uh, not my which I teach but some other teachers and to, to to be not a performer but to participant uh, and um, sometimes I feel that uh, yeah uh, it's okay but I want I would like to go with the with the people who are trust and uh, you know if you go and you don't know what, what you will get it sometimes uh, people are scared about Tantra workshops actually because uh, they are more into uh, monogamical uh, relationships and they want to or for example a woman wants to go to to the workshop and the man no and uh, they feel bad that uh, they are going without them or like what are um, your thoughts about monogamic and polygamic relationships and I know that there are a lot of uh, teachers who are uh, going one way yeah it's uh, it's good to go uh, polygamic because when you are very then you are very released and very open for everything and you have no no scare no no fear about that but uh, there are some teachers who are going no i teach when i am in the couple 
then I, I can share some things about relationships. But if I'm alone, alone, I don't teach because it's, you know, it's not fair uh, when I teach. Yeah, I know these kind of differences that there are uh, these topics in the world and uh, it's always discussed and discuss and discuss about this uh, topic Pol polygamic monogamic relationships how it should be and you know uh, how it's better uh, do you believe in um, in one relationships uh, whole life or uh, you are um, you more believe in yes it's only about you and about your experiences and uh, there is nothing to work uh, on in the relationships who are not um, not continuing already so yeah i know that i i i told a lot <laughs> but uh, maybe you have something to share about this topic also it's a huge subject you touch many things what uh, we could talk hours about it and uh, probably our perspective will change over the years so like my perspective uh, changed through the experience in uh, different uh, phases, different ways of uh, relating uh, to uh, someone. So uh, my uh, personal um, wish, uh, one of the, my biggest dream is to have a long lasting uh, relationship with one person, uh, like deep growing, uh, happy, uh, uh, conscious uh, and so uh, that's uh, my one of my biggest dreams and uh, I went through uh, in my life through phase of uh, being in open relationships in uh, polyamorous uh, relationships and so and uh, for me it's for me like uh, it's uh, um, very often too complicated and I'm uh, choosing for uh, like being with one person. Uh, that's uh, how I feel. Uh, also, um, the way how I teach, uh, it kind of have uh, a reflection in this. Uh, I feel uh, that uh, I always encourage the couples to stay as a couple to not to mix with other people uh, because uh, they can grow they can go much deeper into their process uh, process of relationship into their own processes uh, when uh, two people who know each other already uh, going through the massage or through the exercises together uh, they uh, have capability to go much deeper into the process because they don't put the mask between themselves. Uh, when we don't know each other, we are polite to each other because we don't know the other person. That's how we are conditioned. We, but when we uh, living together, it's like, uh, um, yes, if you touch my wound, I'm not going to pretend that it's not painful. I will tell you, hey, you're hurting me. Uh, I don't like your behavior. I, you know, like you will not hold back. So in this way, you can go deeper into the process, and that make also sometimes uh, challenging for the couple to uh, go through those uh, massages, exercises together. But uh, my um, feeling is. Uh, the bigger challenge it makes you bigger grow and it's easy maybe to do it sometimes with another person who you don't know who you don't care who you would say goodbye afterwards and you don't have to see that person anymore but if you do it like and you go through these challenges uh, not only you will get stronger when you grow through it but also your relationship will get stronger uh, you will get more understanding more uh, love uh, out of it so, so, and that's also like, yes, in, uh, in life, uh, uh, as longer I am with one person, I go, can go deeper uh, through the processes and so on. But I'm also uh, from the other side, I'm not into like, uh, I disadvise people 
to stay together just for sake of staying uh, together. If you are not happy, if you tried all the things possible for to you uh, and uh, nothing is working and you uh, feel uh, bad for years about being together, uh, maybe uh, yes, it's also like uh, time to uh, split or whatever. Uh, yes, I um, I know from my experience this also doesn't work. We have to both have dedication. Okay, we grow to through the challenges and we find the ways to uh, heal each other to. Uh, find how we can love each other better and it's a uh, tantra is a spiritual discipline you know like it's a, a spiritual path all spiritual path requires a bit discipline love requires discipline love requires like always looking for the ways how to love better otherwise you get stagnant and then the things might get uh, a bit uh, not working. Yeah. So, yeah. And when you when you are with one person, you go deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. And by finding uh, the way how to love the other person better, you find the way how to love yourself better. So this circle again it goes deeper and deeper. And I feel like uh, there like things in my life what uh, I discover and I choose for uh, because they bring intensity of uh, uh, my steps towards unconditional love. It's like Tantra and being in the relationship, conscious relationship is another way to bring me there faster because in the relationship I will get triggered much faster with the things what I have to heal when it's conscious relationship yeah I see that uh, uh, we almost have one hour it's 40 45 minutes uh, it's nice that I I even didn't feel that time is flying very fastly um, yeah uh, there is one more important question uh, people always ask me and um, I uh, uh, I always say, yeah, it depends on you, it's everything possible, and uh, just come and, and let's go. And But uh, it's the topic homosexuality and Tantra. And um, uh, I remember when Lucas, uh, one of your uh, students and my teacher also, uh, Lucas Jaros, was here in Lithuania, and we were uh, at the Gaia Gathering Festival, and there were some uh, Tantra teachers, uh, not us, but we... we uh, we uh, also give, uh, gave the workshop, but uh, also we participated in other teachers' work workshop. And um, we asked th this question, and uh, I remember that they told, yeah, it's, it's uh, working, but not that good when it's Shiva and Shakti. And um, uh, I don't know, uh, maybe it's very, uh, very one-side opinion, and... Uh, I don't know where is the truth. I do you have some experiences with your angels and the goddesses that they they experienced something very deep and uh, and went through through the through the really deep connection um, with tantric uh, meditations and and uh, rituals and uh, wh what is what is the answer? Is it working? Shiva and Shakti with the same gender. Of course, uh, love doesn't have uh, the limit, uh, love doesn't have uh, the boundaries that uh, uh, it works in that between those people or the other not and so. Uh, if two people love each other, they can grow in love uh, in uh, best, it's um, uh, more uh, like how is their uh, intention to grow together in love. Uh, uh, how um, it's um, their level of loving each other high. That's that's more uh, 
uh, what the, uh, what decide about uh, how uh, good they can be uh, experiencing tantra or not because uh, yes uh, uh, and, and that that's only it you know like the, the, I, I would say uh, like um, people who are in the same genders they may be uh, uh, there, there uh, you could find the pluses and minuses of everything. Yes, it's, uh, it's some things I would say they are not comparable because uh, yes, you find the plus there, but the minus there, and so like and in the end, like uh, yes, actually, um, um, yeah, the, I would say there is no uh, difference. Some uh, there are differences, but. There is no like uh, uh, disadvantage uh, of. Uh, uh, I love, for example, to teach uh, the gay couples because, uh, from one perspective, they are more open to uh, uh, experience. To they they already liberated themselves from very strong conditionings, like of uh, uh, yes, being isolated, being uh, not free to express their sexuality so so they 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 they, they made already one big of step for uh, liberation so they are uh, more open to do another ones uh, and uh, um, so yes uh, for me uh, it's um, um, I don't uh, I don't mind I don't I like uh, LGBT uh, couples uh, on my workshops uh, um i i have some uh, one of uh, like one of the best chosen by most of the students uh, uh, at Rasayana Tantra Academy where we studied um uh, the one of the uh, teacher uh, was a, a gay and uh, yes, he was one of the best teachers chosen by us. Uh, so uh, the capacity of uh, um, gay people are the same. You know, we are human beings and this doesn't define us so much, you know. And uh, I understand like uh, that some people are saying, oh yes, male, female polarity, uh, uh, it, uh, I always also say like okay if you we do the uh, exercises it's best if it's done by man and the woman but uh, if there is gay couple and they uh, choose to do it together I would say yes do it together uh, you uh, have these polarities usually between you uh, uh, usually one is playing the more female role and one male role and uh, Yes, uh, so it's uh, this argument doesn't, uh, I don't see it so much. Like, uh, yes, thank you for this. Really, you, you explained uh, a lot because, yeah, there are some opinions with, with this that uh, uh, lingam should be in Yoni and uh, it's great, it's like this, and, and nothing. Uh, nothing can be experienced when you yeah yeah I I just heard this and um, I was thinking oh yeah but uh, but it's possible it's about love not about uh, sex only yeah. so yeah yes yeah yeah uh, all of, uh, energetical yoni and lingams uh, so it's, uh, it's yes uh, so it's uh, and uh, um, yeah, um, tantra is actually guiding us to the oneness that the gender doesn't exist anymore. We are both male and female inside uh, of us, and uh, it's a liberation to um, have capacity to use both the energies and so. So, so it's a. Uh, um, even the bodies, differences of the bodies, it's uh, just um, um, sometimes, if you uh, uh, say it in that way, uh, uh, that's, they limit you 
kind of, uh, tantra is about liberating you know like there is uh, so yeah if something is limiting then ask yourself where is the blockage thank you so much and uh, i have uh, one more surprise question <laughs> uh, for the end uh, if you would meet yourself when you are teenage uh, what you would like to tell what you would like would like to tell for you, for yourself what you would tell now you meet hello it's Michael say, yes <laughs> uh, go for tantra <laughs> <laughs> now today <laughs> you will have the best life ever forget about drinking all the funny things uh, smoking whatever just try this it takes you much higher you know and so so it's i would like to uh, say this to myself like hey uh, yeah you don't have to be sexually frustrated teenager uh, you can find yourself that's what I would say. Yes, definitely. I'm like uh, I'm I'm I'm, uh, I'm saying it to my daughter. Uh, like uh, she's 21, but uh, like uh, I got her book like for uh, teenagers when uh, she started to be interested with the sexuality and the importance and I got her book for teenagers about Tantra and sacred sexuality for teenagers you know like so so uh, yes it's uh, I feel that's it's uh, the best work I can do at the moment yeah it's it's very nice one more topic but uh, I see that we don't have uh, time for today but maybe we'll only other day again and speak yeah it's uh, it's very just to finalize as sooner as better it's really like you know like i see like sometimes i have very young uh, people and they they just like they, they they it's it's a blessing to 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 see how much shit they can avoid when they educate uh, sooner i am for that too i i have this mission <laughs> it's yeah. just hard to 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 not to break the rules about uh, you know 18 years old you have you can go to these kind of things if you don't so you are breaking some rules in in, in, in some countries so i feel oh, sometimes yeah. that of course no yeah you have to always be conscious about with your young people like uh, like some them can be adult enough in the young age but some of them they can be still not ready for this so you have to really know what you are doing and uh, how to do mm -hmm. it like you know. the best uh, is i think when when parents are in, in tantric path already and then they can prepare them children uh, to live in this way. Yes, definitely. I love when the parents bring their children to my workshops and they do the workshops together. It's like, wow, this is like, yes, I love it. I have this mission one day to do a, a tantra with, with parents to release some childhood traumas and, and everything. So yeah, let's talk about that next time. I think uh, it's a big topic and very nice topic. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. And uh, yeah, people, uh, don't forget that you always can connect with us. And uh, uh, Michal Kaligrix is living in Thailand and he's doing a lot of nice retreats. And uh, you can come there uh, when it will be possible. And uh, if uh, for now, when it's not, you can follow us. Uh, Michal has Instagram, it's Tantra Movement, Movement School. Uh, and Facebook, it's Tantra Movement. 
and uh, I have my Facebook, it's Tantra Path to Secret Love. And uh, yeah, follow us, let's connect, uh, yeah. let's keep in touch. Yeah. Uh, I, I have also a YouTube channel where you have a lot of uh, videos what are about the practice and so about the things what we are talking about more in details maybe sometimes and so. Uh, yes, you can look uh, at uh, my website tantramovement.com and of course uh, learning in the practice is uh, one of the best way. Come to Thailand is paradise. Uh, so <laughs> yes. It's, uh, I have ongoing program here, uh, uh, many levels, uh, mainly what I teach is Tantra Massage, but also like I teach uh, uh, two, three day courses, Love Yourself, where we really go deep into things what we are just talking here about. And so, yeah. Nice. Yeah, and one more thing to mention that uh, next week, um, I will share some open air tantra workshop here in Lithuania in the park uh, because already it's possible to be outside in the park and it will be uh, adapted to that kind of conditions we have with that distance. So will be uh, tantra with a distance. It will be very interesting, but it will work. So yeah, come, come, come and join. I'm very happy that things are happening, start to happening everywhere and so I'm glad to It's a... Uh, Tantra yes. is working uh, without any rules and uh, it's working just, yeah. So, yeah. namaste for you. I, I, I'm really happy that we talk today again and uh, yeah, best wishes for all. Thank you. Thank you for this beautiful interview uh, again. Uh, I love it. Uh, flows very nice so let's uh, also see you soon looking forward see you. yeah goodbye yes uh, if you <laughs> miss uh, you can still uh, re-watch uh, re it or send it to some friends uh, use it don't lose it yeah use it don't lose it <laughs> uh, stay connected and share love Aho. yeah Aho.